to bit fumes and in this episode we are going to see how we can create a conversion app the conversion between celsius and the fahrenheit temperature scales and obviously this is exactly same as given in the documentation of the react in the lifting state up part so obviously you have to see my video and then go here in this documentation and read this because this is actually changing your way of creating app or writing the codes inside the javascript so we will see a regular way how to create this and then we will see how we can separate out various components in between this uh, coding system so with that i'm your host sarthak and if you like my style of teaching then don't forget to subscribe like bitfumes on facebook twitter and instagram so let's get started and we can see we can create something like this so if i say 10 obviously 10 celsius is 50 fahrenheit but if i say 212 that means 212 fahrenheit which is exactly equal to the 100 degrees celsius so let's see how we can create this so i have this index.js which is almost empty because it just have these two lines importing the react and uh, giving this component called calculator we have to create this also and connecting this to the root okay that's good so let's create the class of that should be class of calculator okay then extends react dot component and here constructor which accepts props and super which also accepts prop and obviously we will provide this dot state uh, some of the variables or the data or state whatever you want to call firstly the scale and uh, let's give a default value of c for celsius and obviously temp which is zero and temp stands for temperature okay so let's create a render method and in this render we are going to return what we are going to simply return uh, these uh, html part so i have to say field set okay and let's create this and inside field set let's create legend uh, legend and obviously this is i will say scale name okay and then a simple input tag okay it's very nice let's open this npm start so i will go here say npm run start and it will start the local host in our chrome so let's go to chrome and you can see on the local host we have scale name and this little text box let's open console and we have this react uh, view dev react dev tool obviously you have to install it it's just a uh, extension oh by the way with the calling of extension i have this cool extension i got this extension from my friend mickey on the last evening and this is very cool and extension name is momentum this one momentum and it's very nice you can also have this extension it's very cool okay so let's go to atom here i will simply say value will be uh, this dot state dot temp okay so now it will have a zero value which is we have defined on the this dot state part that's cool but what i will do i will instead of typing this every time i will simply say const temp is equal to this and now connecting this to temp that's very nice great okay so let's create one more thing called on change whenever there is a, some change i will simply say this dot handle celsius change celsius handle celsius only okay so obviously we have to create this so let's create this function handle celsius so i will say handle celsius this will be equal to a arrow function which is going to this dot set the state and obviously state is scale is going to be c and 
the temperature will be something but we will talk about this later okay so what we have done we have changed the scale to C okay so to check whether it's working or not let's console.log something so let's go to Chrome and it's now refreshed open console type something and you can see it's consoling great everything is working fine okay now what we have to do obviously we have to create same thing for our Fahrenheit so I will here say Celsius okay and here I will say Fahrenheit okay that's good and obviously handle Fahrenheit function we have to create so let's create handle Fahrenheit so here come handle Fahrenheit and obviously scale will be F okay great let's go to Chrome and it says oh yeah we have to provide all this inside a div so that there will be only one field inside the component okay so this is good let's go to Chrome and done so let's open react and here you can see scale is C but if I type here something scale is now changed to F now similarly whenever I type some number here I want to have temperature having that particular number so similarly we have to say whenever we type on Fahrenheit input we have to go, go to this function called handle Fahrenheit and here I get E that means called event and now I will say temp is equal to event or E dot target dot value similarly we have to say same thing with Celsius okay and obviously import this E here great go to Chrome and open react which is already open now if I type 10 here you can see 10 is now the temperature value but if I type 100 or Fahrenheit you can see the value is changed to 100 on temp but because we are having the value for both input temp so if I change here it will be just reflected in the Fahrenheit scale but we have to do some conversion this means we have to separate these two input field value and obviously we have to connect this so there will be two separate variable but these two separate variable are connected okay so let's create a new constant so const celsius and one more for fahrenheit so Fahrenheit okay <laughs> okay so what this will give this will give uh, let's say 10 and then I will say 20 simple so let's give here Celsius for Celsius input and Fahrenheit for Fahrenheit input that's great reload the page and yes you can see we have these 10 and 20 as the Fahrenheit or Celsius const value okay so how we will connect Celsius and Fahrenheit scale so firstly what I will do I will check which scale is there because if I type something on Fahrenheit the scale changes to Fahrenheit if I type something on Celsius the scale changes to Celsius like this so we can define on which input we are on so let's create a new constant called scale is equal to this dot state dot scale and I will check scale if it is equal to Fahrenheit this means if we are typing something on Fahrenheit scale then the Celsius scale will be now the temp divided by uh, let's say 5 okay so whatever will be the temp temperature value it will be divided by 5 if this is not the case give the temperature original value similarly if we can do the same thing for Fahrenheit scale if a scale is 
Celsius. This means if we are working on, if we are typing on Celsius scale, then do temperature multiply by 5, otherwise give the temperature itself. So what we have actually done, we have value combined or binded with Celsius constant. But Celsius constant itself is checking whether a scale is Fahrenheit or not. Obviously, when we first load, the scale is Celsius. Okay, so this will return the temperature value which is zero by default. And whenever we type something on Fahrenheit, it will divide that by five. So let's see all these things in action. So if we are here. If I type 10, you can see it's easy and converted to 50. If I type five only, you can see five divided by five is one on Celsius scale. This means our app is now having all the functionality, but obviously this is not converting between the Celsius and Fahrenheit scale. So instead of this logic, what we can say, we have to convert from Fahrenheit to Celsius. So what will be the formula? For this formula will be F minus 32 and obviously multiply by 5 by 9. Okay. And here, if we are on Fahrenheit scale, we have to do the opposite of this, which is temperature multiply by 9 divided by 5 and we have to plus 32. Okay. That's great. And reload this page. If I type 10, it is 50 and you know which scale or at which temperature the Celsius and Fahrenheit scale are same. Actually, this is the minus 40. At minus 40 degrees Celsius, it is same as minus 40 degree Fahrenheit. Some important tips. <laughs> Don't worry. I'm not going to teach you physics. Okay, so come back here and everything is working fine. Our app is completed, but what is going on? This is all messed up. We are doing logic here. We are having all these things and we are repeating these things exactly same. So in the next episode, we are lifting up the states. We are lifting up all the logic and these HTML part and see how we can separate out all these things and make our app more readable, reusable and robust. So in the next episode, we will meet till then. Don't forget to subscribe like Bitfumes on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram and share these video with your developer friends so that everyone get the knowledge of React. Bye bye.